Hi! I am making a series of chair yoga videos to build strength, to work on the muscles that you need to get from basically from the floor up to standing again. So I've already done a video uh, working on our arm strength, just a short uh, silly video with my daughter. And today it's just me. So maybe I won't laugh hysterically, uh, but you never know, uh, I might. Uh, today we're gonna work on core strength. So let's go ahead and start the practice by scooching forward on your chair so much that your feet can plant firmly on the ground. Your feet are hip width apart and start to let your heart open so let your chest lift towards the sky. Start to feel your back body start to get a little bit stronger here. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. Let's let our palms face forward, our fingertips stretch and reach towards the earth. The top of our head lifts towards the sky. So we'll begin here in Seated Mountain. You can close your eyes or you can have a soft gaze. Let's breathe in together, I am strong. Breathe out together, I am capable. Two more times, inhale, I am strong. Exhale. I am capable. One more. Breathing in. I am strong. And breathing out. I am capable. Let's begin to sweep our arms out and up. Inhale here. Let your shoulders relax away from your ears. If your shoulders do not feel great today, maybe our arms only come about uh, shoulder height or even lower than the shoulders. That's no problem. Bring your palms back together at heart center. So just flow your arms with two more breaths. Inhale to circle sweep arms out and however high they get and exhale your hands to heart center. One more time. I'm going to modify this one, stretching arms out to the sides and then just reaching forward and pull the hands to heart center. Now let's go ahead and uh, take your elbows out a little bit wider. Inhale, lift your heart space. Exhale, pull your navel in towards your spine and make a little bit of a hollowing out of your belly. Now I'm sure if my shirt was lifted, my belly would still be poking out. So if you feel the same way, it's okay. We're engaging those inner core muscles. Inhale, let your heart lift. Exhale, curl and hollow out the belly. Feel your low back turn on, your side body turn on, and your inner abdominals, those deep muscles turn on. Inhale, lift. Exhale, curl. Have I already mentioned we're working core today? And let's lift tall. Bring both palms forward again, fingertips drawing and reaching towards the earth. I want you to find your... This is my right side. I don't know if this is mirrored, but uh, it doesn't matter. We'll get both sides. So take your right hand into your left oblique. Push the oblique into those fingers as you reach your left hand down towards the ground. Come back up and just pulse. It's like we're doing a little, almost like a little belly dance. So embrace your inner belly dancer. <laughs> You can close your eyes here and really engage, engage, engage that inner, that transverse um, oblique. Might not be saying the right name. <laughs> Go back up and then we'll switch sides. Take your right fingertips down towards the ground, left fingertips into your left oblique and reach. Tap that muscle into the fingers. And it's in there, it's deep in there. And we're engaging it, we're pulsing it, we're strengthening it. You can close your eyes so that you're not really seeing me wiggle like this. <laughs> and one, two, three more, let's relax. So another great workout for your core is some twists and we'll take our arms out into a T and have your elbows softly or big, bigly bent. Lift your right knee up, twist to your left. No, that's your right, right? Mm, they don't teach us right from left in yoga school. I joke about that all the time. So <laughs> engage your core to twist to one side 
and then lower the foot, come back to center. Twist to the second side, engage, and we're kind of squeezing all those stabilizing muscles here, come back to center. Let's keep it going. So let's inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep going, rest if you need to. Keep the navel pulling into the spine. I think we're on seven or eight. We'll just do two more on each side. So one more on each side and relax. Let's maybe practice a little seated cat cow here. So bring your hands to your knees, round your back, tuck your chin into your chest. So pull the navel towards the spine, feel a stretch in your back. And then open up your chest, send your tailbone towards the wall behind you. This is our cat, I mean our cow pose. So it's that spinal extension. You can even go ahead and pull your shoulders away from one another, let your heart space open just a little bit more, and then come to center. So let's begin to work some back muscles here. Uh, so we're gonna take our arms out, back into like a little soft bend in the elbows. I want you to stretch your arms out and then pull your elbows in. Imagine you're pulling down a bar, right? So there's weight on that bar, you're ooh, resisting the movement, strengthening through the upper back, through uh, underneath the arms pits. I didn't wanna say armpits, but <laughs> I just did. Let's do about hmm, six more. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep your core strong, so continue to pull the navel towards the spine as you continue to reach and pull in. We're pulling this imaginary ball down, and if you need a bar, not ball, you can make fists. And hey, maybe you have a machine at home. We have a Bowflex. I think we can do this on the Bowflex. I should practice this on the Bowflex. <laughs> Let's just do one more. Good, relax your arms, roll your shoulders, release tension, maybe turn your head from side to side. So I have one more core move uh, that is really, really challenging on the chair. If you can position yourself uh, with another chair in front of you, so go ahead and take time. Um, maybe I should say in my description that have a chair two chairs um and if you don't want to grab a chair that's fine we can do that without grabbing a chair you're just leaning back and you're feeling your core muscles turn on so let's go ahead and try that so lean back feel your core muscles turn on you can take your thumbs underneath your ribs your middle finger kind of <laughs> i'm placing it below my belly <laughs> and come back so this can be our boat pose right so if you want to add on to this and we want to Find it at least 10 times, okay? At least 10 times to strengthen that core, right? Uh, resting when we need to. You can do that. You can try lifting one leg up as you lean back and lower it down. Lean back, lift the opposite leg up. And that's already about 20, I'm just kidding. One more on each side, just like this. Or you can keep going just like this. Or you can keep going just like this. Or you can add on, I have actually have a, a little chair right here next to me. I'm just gonna turn this chair to face. It's basically like kind of a comfy, uh, see if I can move this, like a comfy little. So my feet, oh, oh dear. <laughs> Oh boy, all right, so feet are on this seat of the chair and I'm leaning back. You can lift one leg, lower it, lift the other leg and lower it. So that just kind of intensifies that boat uh, flow here. So you can do that. Um, together, let's go ahead and do a few more. So I'm just gonna practice leaning back and leaning forward or pressing forward. So keep this nice long line from your tailbone to the top of your head as you lean back and forward. So you're feeling this in your back, in your ribs, in your core, and let's just do two more. My head looks so small in this video. Whew. 
I need my waist to look smaller. <laughs> it's going to get smaller. Together we'll get stronger and cinch the inner corset uh, naturally. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. Circle sweep your arms overhead. Exhale your hands to heart center. And one more time, gathering energy and space and sealing this little, um, this video practice. Thank you for sharing your yoga practice with me and allowing me to share mine with you. Namaste.